it's obviously frustrating right now um, for the fans' sake, our sake, um, everybody who's associated with the club. You know, we want to we want to get results. We want to win games, and we're simply not doing enough. I think it's little uncharacteristic mistakes early in games that that have cost us. And you know, when you're in a slump like this, one goal can can really make a difference. And I think by us conceding pretty early in games, uh, especially this last game, it kind of uh, we, we didn't react the best from it. Um, I think the reaction has to be better there um, and, you know, try and get back in a game and, you know, put a chance away. We were unfortunate. I think Chang, Chang had a chance to make it 1-1. Um, that didn't go our way and then we commit a, a, a penalty in the box. You know, it's, it's little mistakes like that that we need to fine tune um, for this game this weekend. And, you know, we just got to come out with the mentality that we're gonna die out there. You know, this is this is unacceptable. We need a we need to find a way to get results, and everybody has to leave it, leave everything they have out there. That's good from the uh, from the team perspective, and that is what I was getting at. And now, kind of the same question from an individual perspective, because you can't really control what other guys do or don't do. So for yourself, what kind of microscope are you putting yourself under? What are you really focusing on? Yeah, you know, obviously I think I, there's been moments where I can be a little cleaner in games. Um, but, you know, I think from a personal standpoint, every time I step out on the field, I leave everything out there. And, you know, that's, that has to be the standard for every single player, week in, week out, that, you know, listen, it might not be, for whatever reason, you might not be in your sharpest. There might be mistakes here and there but it's the reaction after that that you know if you lose it then you immediately press and that triggers that triggers energy from you know the rest of the group if they see one guy busting their ass to to run and ch press the ball that's going to the people behind them are going to follow and I think that's what we need more of we need more we need more bite to us we need a uh, you know play with more, play with an extreme amount of passion I think that's what's going to get us through this uh, yeah Sorry, yeah, you can stay there, but can you look in camera? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry, I jumped in here kind of late, but I thought it was mop monopolizing. That's why she came over. No, 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 you're good. Okay, you can go. You you have another one. Okay, so you were talking about you being cleaner, and on TV we don't really have the angles, so we can't tell. And I'm wondering sometimes you get to the final third. And some of your passes, is it a case of you just didn't hit it right and as soon as you leave your foot, you're like, nah. Or is it a case of you're trying to make the perfect pass and just thread the needle and, it, and the lane, passing that really isn't open? When you go back and watch, what do you see? Yeah, I think uh, you're right with a second answer there. I think, um, you know, I'm trying to make that, that perfect ball to where they can almost one touch it across or one touch finish where... You know, I think maybe just getting it to their feet on a couple of occasions would really make a difference. And I think, I think at times going back to, you know, looking back at the, the past few games, especially the game at home um, against St. Louis in that first half, I think there were times where I maybe passed it too soon. I think I could have kept, kept carrying it and kept committing defenders. And, you know, that's something we really worked on this past week, committing guys, drawing them in and then playing it. Um, so I think, you know, after watching that, I, I had more space to drive into and that's something I want to continue to, to get better on and improve on and, and continue to do. And you mentioned the immediate press when you lose it. When Pablo first started preaching that when he took over, sitting up on the fourth floor, it was so clear when you did it right. You yeah. could just see everybody stepping. And in this last game, and I know every situation is different, every game plan is different, but it seemed like guys on the ball may not have passing options, but they also had like five yards of space so they didn't really feel sped up. Yeah, no, definitely. I think uh, um, we allowed them a little bit too much time on the ball, but I think when when you've had the results that we've had in the past few games, you almost don't want to run out unnecessarily and open yourselves up. Um, so I think that's part of the reason as well there um, to where we, we don't want to press out and, and create those big gaps in the midfield like we've seen. So I think we've been trying to you know, stay a little bit more compact in, in those tighter spaces. And, you know, that, that works that works until you concede a goal. Yeah. So you concede a goal and then you got to open yourselves up again. And, um, yeah, we just, we got to figure that out. So when things are going poorly, do you like to watch the video of the recent games and see what you've done wrong so you can fix it? Or do you like to go way back to a period when individually and as a group you were playing better 
and see what it looks like when you're right and try to get that drilled into your brain? Yeah, you know, I think both. Um, I definitely rewatch the games and kind of see what, you know, I could have done better individually as well as what collectively we could have done better and in different moments of the game. Uh, but, you know, we know we know what what it takes to win games. We saw that we saw that last year. I mean, I think everybody has to has to buy in and it's tough because we're, we're low confidence right now. There's there's no hiding that. And I think we need to catch a little break. And the only way that you you catch breaks is by leaving literally everything you have out there and working that much harder um, for in those little moments to hopefully go your way.